So in the last episode, we talked about a basic design overview of the Curiosity rover and how it landed on Mars. In this episode, let's talk about the mission itself and what it's been able to do over the last six years. So let's talk about that. So let's begin by talking about where Curiosity started. In a crater called Gale Crater, which is 96 miles in diameter, and in the center has a mountain called Aeolus Mons, also known as Mount Sharp. Mount Sharp is 18,000 feet high, and at the bottom is theorized to be what was once an ancient lake bed. And only after two months that Curiosity was there, it was able to actually create evidence by the first samples that it picked up to say that yes, it was an ancient lake bed. Also within the first couple months, it was able to take the very first pictures of native Martian minerals. Just a few months later, Curiosity would take a soil sample that would contain sulfur, chlorine, and water molecules, furthering the evidence that Gale Crater was once a lake. Then, in March of 2013, Curiosity decided to drill for the first time, and in its drill, it found molecules such as water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, and these are basic ingredients for life as we know it. Then later that year, 2013, NASA had announced that soil samples that they took showed evidence that Mars had once had a much larger atmosphere that could, could have hold a lot more water vapor. Some other news would be that Curiosity would start to go towards the base of Mount Sharp, the mountain in the middle of the crater. So now let's talk about what happened in 2014. So at the beginning of the year, NASA decided to refocus Opportunity and Curiosity's missions to solely determine whether or not Mars could once have held microbial life. Then, as Curiosity continued to try and go towards the base of Mount Sharp, it had punctured some of its wheels and had to be able to refocus on how it would drive across the landscape in order for it to not break its wheel and not be able to roam. In September, Curiosity finally made it to the base of Mount Sharp and was able to make different samples about different elevations of the crater. It also noticed that at some points there was a great increase and decrease in methane in the local atmosphere. And also a discovery that was made in 2014 was there's more organic materials that were determined from the soil in the areas surrounding the base of Mount Sharp. So now let's go on to 2015. The first thing that happened in 2015 was NASA had officially announced that Gale Crater was once a lake and they theorized that it existed anywhere from 3.5 to 3.3 billion years ago. So from 2016 onwards to today, Curiosity has a refocused mission to understand the different elevations on Mount Sharp. So by climbing the mountain, they could take different samples to understand how the soil differentiated at different elevations in the lake. Curiosity completed its goal at the beginning of 2016 to understand the previous environment that had once existed and determining whether or not Gale Crater was actually a lake, and is now trying to understand the younger soil and the rich clay that occurs at the higher elevations. So now that we get to current day Curiosity, what about the future? So as I mentioned, Curiosity is still trying to climb up Mount Sharp and understand the different elevations. However, how long can it run? Unlike Spirit and Opportunity, Curiosity has ran off an RTG, Radio Isotope Thermoelectric Generator, which can only run for as long as the 10 pounds of plutonium inside of it can go. So it's theorized that Curiosity has about a 14 year long lifespan. And since it's already been on Mars for five years, it has only about nine more years left. So in this episode, we have discussed everything from August 2012 to current day Curiosity and what its plans are for the future. In the next episode, we're going to talk about the different orbiters that are around Mars, what their purpose is, and what their plan is to understand will we eventually be sending humans to the surface of Mars. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.